Hi, welcome to the MuleSoft tutorials. This is Akash, and in this video, we'll discuss about the MuleSoft debugging. So, to start with, I will create one new project. I will write the debug proj. Click on finish. So, this will create one new project on Studio. So here we have project. So first of all, why debugging is required? So sometimes once you deploy your API in production and you find some bug and you are not able to find out like from which connector it is coming or from where it is coming. So debugging is used to debug a step-by-step -step connector. We can see the input we are giving to the connector. What is the output at that point of time? And what are the variables we have available? What are the session variables? What are the inbound properties? What are the outbound properties? Or attachment, inbound attachment or outbound attachments. And also we can check the value of the payload. And also we can check if some exception is coming. So debug is very important, whether it in Mule or as well as in Java. So what we'll do, we'll start with the debug part. I will drag one HTTP connector. And I will configure this HTTP connector. And then I will drag one logger. I will drag one more logger. And let's say one more logger. And now I will drag one floor reference. And now I will drag one subflow and inside that I will drag one logger so we'll see how step by step it's going so the message let's say message in, in subflow in subflow here I would write logger1 logger2 logger three i'll save it in flow reference i will provide the subflow i will save it again now we can see that we have three loggers one subflow and we have flow reference we are passing that subflow so to start with a debug uh, i will put one debug point over here right click on any of the connector toggle breakpoint i'll put one debug point here I will put one digger point here. Okay, I will save this and what I will add one more logger and I will put one debug point here. I will write logger four. Save it. Now I will run this project. So to run in the debug, we'll go to debug as mule application. say no right now I'll go to console so I will go to yeah it's deployed successfully I will go to localhost 881 I'll click over here here we can see there's a pop-up that it's asked me to change the perspective so we have mule debug perspective I will click yes so right now you can see a blue dotted line this is the right now you can say the execution is over here right now you can see the payload is zero right now inbound properties we have get operation method at address path HTTP and other stuff and variables nothing is there now once uh, we saw so we have three options one is f6 next process run the processor and then resume so when you click this this will takes me to the next connector and I will click F8 or I will click over here this will takes me to the next debug point or you can say toggle point so we had two 
now and again I will let's say I will press uh, F6 this will go over here and then again I will press F6 this will go to the subflow and uh, if I will press F8 this will take me to the logger next debug point I'll again press F8 so execution is completed we can see logger 1 logger 2 logger 3 in subflow and logger 4 so in this way we can debug it and uh, we can also add a sync flow so this would be in asynchronous method so that will be run in background I added this is async I will save this this will automatically deploy so it's deploy successfully I will press again 8081 press f6 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 so see this doesn't go inside because this is, is in background right now f6 just go here here and f6 then it is running so as you can see we are running this background so output would be different first it logger 1 logger 2 then it goes to subflow then logger 4 and then at last it just run the asynchronous flow that is logger 3 so again I will do what I will do I will hit again and you can check I'll just choose F8 this will comes to over here because this is the subflow one logger and then F8 just go over here and then again F8 or click over here yeah so in this way we can basically so you, here you can see log this time logger is on after the in subflow and previous, previously logger was after logger 4 because uh, this is asynchronous process logger 3 is asynchronous so we cannot determine when it is going to give us the output so it is running in background you can also change your processing strategy just click on the flow and uh, just click on processing strategy you can make it synchronous asynchronous and whatever you want so uh, this it this is this it this that's it for this uh, debugging process if you want to debug Java just create a Java file you can add debug point like just click on right click on new let's say class file let's say test include public take void main finish so here we have Java file and here if I want to debug this Java file I will write write int a equals to 10 and I will write system system dot out dot print ln I will write a and I will put debug point over here and I will save it save this so again this will automatically got ready deployed so if you want to debug any of the Java file just click on over here and you can call the Java file from this one from our flow and this will flow will goes over here and it execute this function and then again the process will continue so that's it for this video uh, see you in next video Thank you.